Photoshop to put a gallery website up on the internet in less than 10 minutes. You want to start out by gathering all the pictures, photos of your artwork that you want to use. Rename it to something relative to what you uh, paint most of the time, what you're looking to paint, what you're trying to attract customers for. This one is named Race Helmet Paint, Race Helmet Custom Design, etc., etc., etc. You want to locate this folder with all of your pictures that you want to use in a place that's easy to find on your computer. Go to Photoshop, File, Automate, all the way down at the bottom you'll see Web Photo Gallery. Click Open, and Web Photo Gallery, the Web Photo Gallery box will open. In the very top you'll see a drop down menu. It gives you the different style galleries you can put up. Some of, some of them allow feedback from people who are viewing the website. For this little demonstration I'm just going to use basic. This I wrote an article about this in issue 25 which will be coming out in August of Airbrush Technique magazine. The next box down is email. You want to put your email address in there. Next box down is source images. That would be the images where you're going to use that you're going to use in your gallery. The file we just talked about on your computer. Find that file. Click on it. Click OK. The next box down is destination. That's where you're going to end. That's where your file. You want your file to end up. Create a new folder for this new helmet website. Just on the desktop, click OK. And you should see it there desktop, new helmet website. Options is your next box. Again, it's a drop down menu. The banner, click on the banner, the name of your website. Your little gallery website, helmet, custom painting will be the name of my little gallery website. It says photographer would be the next one. Put your name in there. Contact info. Put your phone number in there. We can change this later in Notepad, and I'll show you how to do that. And the date. From the drop down menu and options again, image size large, that allows you to set the image size and the file size, I would go file size large so that your pictures show up real well on the internet. And you can set the pixel size. Thumbnails, and you can set your maximum, minimum uh, size that you want your thumbnails appear to appear in your gallery. This is set at 75. I'm going to leave it. Custom colors. I can't use in this style gallery I chose. So we have to bypass that. Security. I wouldn't even mess with personally. And that's it. The next box down is extension. Do you want an HTM or HTML? We'll choose HTML. Use UTF-8 encoding for URL. We'll click yes. Add width and height attributes to images. Yes. Preserve all metadata. We'll click yes there too. So now you have your style chosen. Your email address is in there. You've chosen your source folder. You've chosen your destination folder. You've gone through the options. You've chosen your extension. And you're all set to go. Click OK. In the web photo gallery, you're going to see the pictures flash across Photoshop. Like this. These are all the helmets I had in that 
folder I showed you in the very beginning. Depending on how many pictures you have in that folder will depend on how long this takes. I don't think there's a limit to the number of pictures you have. When it's done, when Photoshop is done, it's going to bring your little gallery up in the brow browser, which is what you see here. This is the actual gallery. Here you can see all the pictures I had in that folder, the thumbnails, and the larger, large pictures. Now go to the destination folder where you told Photoshop to put your web gallery on your desktop or wherever you had it saved. You're going to see an image folder, a pages folder, thumbnail folder, an index page, and a thumbnail frame page. And the user selection text doc. You need to upload all these on your web space through GoDaddy or whoever you have your website hosted through. But you need to upload these FTP them up just as they are, folders intact. If you look in the image folder, you're going to see all the images we had in the original folder. If you look in the pages folder, there's all the pages that you're going to see on the internet. That's how easy it is to build a little photo gallery website in Photoshop. Now it's just a matter of uploading them, like I said, FTP to your website host. It takes two minutes to do that. You've got a website up and running in less than 10 minutes. You could go back now in your notepad on your computer. Go to open. Locate your folder where your new website is. New helmet website. Click on all files. You want to open your index file. You can add meta tags to the very top here. You can scroll down until you see the banner. And from here you can change anything you want. Like where it says info and it had the date. We'll put our website address to my main gallery or my main website airbrushgallery.com phone number I'll leave there those are all the changes you want to make to the index page go to file in notepad click save exit now when you upload that to the server on that index page will be your website address just as you changed it in notepad web gallery I just built you can go to helmetpaintdesigns.com that's HelmetPaintDesigns.com. This is actually on the internet right now. It's been there for about a week. This is the banner area that we can change in Notepad if you want. Here you can see the title, Helmet Paint Designs, Helmet Custom Painting by Don Johnson, Airbrush Gallery, which is a hot link to Airbrush Gallery, my phone number, and my email address. Here you can see all the pictures I had that in that original folder. You can see how much how important the name is now rather than just have picture one picture two I've named them airbrush artwork JPEG custom design JPEG just to give people a better feel for what you're doing to attract more customers and maybe even help with search engines I'm not sure on that but it should help but you can flip through this gallery again this takes less than 10 minutes to put up uh, through GoDaddy cost you nine dollars a year to have a, a website hosted so for less than the cost of printing a thousand business cards you could have one of these little photo galleries up on the internet showing your work off hopefully attracting customers and getting you more business this is Don Johnson from Airbrush Technique magazine Please check the magazine out at airbrushtechniquemagazine.com for free airbrush lessons. You can go to howtoairbrush.com. Our airbrush support form is airbrushtechnique.com.